welcome to Osmonaut Pilot Training. Today's course will be Basic Maneuvers 101. The purpose of this training session is to provide you with a solid foundation on which to build your flight skills. What you learn today will always be useful. It will give you the confidence to fly through the narrowest of gaps, evade missile fire, get yourself into a superior position and take out your enemy. These skills will keep you alive. Don't be fooled, Nuggets. The threat of pirates, vandal, and other undiscovered alien species is very real. Hell, space itself is a deadly environment. But with knowledge and teamwork, we aim to give you the tools not only to survive, but to be an effective weapon against those who threaten our interests. So let's get on with it. Right, as we get into the cockpit, I want you to orientate yourself and find the following indicators. Your speed thrust indicator, your coupled decoupled mode indicator, with your fixed gun sight or the center of your screen. Okay guys, as we accelerate here, you will notice two things. Firstly, thrust is climbing up to 100, full thrust to speed, speed up to 200, faster speed in Hornet. Secondly, your total velocity indicator appeared, or TVR for short. Now this is the most important thing you will learn today. Your total velocity indicator, or TVI, highlights the direction of your forward momentum. Loosely translated, it shows you what you're going to crash into. So if your TVI is centered on an asteroid, you will crash into that asteroid. If it is centered on an enemy ship, you will ram into that ship. If it is centered on the space station, you will crash into that space station. You get the message, don't you? OK, we will be entering decoupled mode shortly. For those of you that don't know, decoupled mode allows you to change your orientation in space, that is, where your fixed gun crosshairs are pointing, without changing the direction of your forward momentum, which is represented by your, yep, you guessed it, your TVI. As we start to fly backwards in decoupled mode, uh, don't freak out, I think I know what I'm doing. Uh, please pay attention to the indicators I asked you to in the beginning of the training video. Namely, your speed thrust indicator, your couple decouple mode, and your fixed gun sight in the center of your screen. Notice how your speed is saying minus 199 meters a second? That is because you're flying backwards. Your speed is always measured on your orientation, meaning where your ship is pointed, depicted by the crosshairs. If I had to swing around forward again, it would say 200 meters per second. Remember, right now, we are basically just a piece of space junk flying on a trajectory that won't ever change. Okay, whenever you are facing in the opposite direction of your forward momentum, you will see the anti-total velocity indicator. Looks very similar to the total velocity indicator, except the little arrow in the square is pointing down and not up. The anti-total velocity indicator is used mainly as an orientation tool to let you know when you are flying backwards. Okay, as we exit decoupled mode, I would like you to please pay attention to your instrumentation, both audio and visual. Visual cues such as space dust, engine sounds. Being aware of both visual and audio cues will help you become a better pilot. Okay, as I fly around and do some basic maneuvers, I'd like you to pay attention to the difference between your orientation, that is the gun crosshairs, and your TVI. Orientation is you telling the ship where you want to go. TVI is the ship telling you where she is actually going. Why is this important? That is why. Stand by for reintegration. Okay, let's explain to you the importance of boost. Boost is your friend. Boost equals control. Boost will pull you out of many dangerous situations. If you need to straighten yourself up quickly, you're drifting too much into a solid object, use boost. There is an example of how boost can save you from drifting. This is also very good for when you're in a dogfight and you want to shake someone in the asteroids, don't be shy to use your boost. It will save your life. Once more, boost will save 
your life. Okay, as we enter decoupled mode, you will see my TLI dancing around the screen. That is because I am using strafe to maneuver. Strafe is a very effective way to maneuver, both when coupled and decoupled. It will help you avoid objects. When combined with boost as well, it is a very effective evasive maneuvering tool. Strafing will be covered in more detail in our next training session. However, I would like you to be aware of it and practice it where you can. Now the key to being an effective pilot is awareness of your surroundings. That is why it is important to look behind you from time to time. Okay guys, as we recap on everything, uh, please pay attention to your indicators. Most important, instruments will save your life. Okay, as we fly ahead in coupled mode, heading towards an asteroid, go into decoupled mode, look behind, we're going to hit the asteroid, strafe up, miss the asteroid, save your life. Look ahead. Okay, imagine there's a bogey ahead of us, duck behind the asteroid using strafe, bogey follows us, always look behind you, save your life. See your TLI on an asteroid, you're going to crash into that asteroid. Make sure you avoid it. You fire on the imaginary foe. Looking ahead, don't forget to look behind. It will save your life. Okay, we're going to hit that asteroid. You need to do something about that. Strafe up, strafe up, strafe up. Such things allow you to pull off amazing moves such as this. Unfortunately guys, you do not have clearance for that. You will however be cleared as you progress through the training series. I will however leave you with this clip of one of our trainees, first time in a Gladius. Hang on, let me get out. Uh, do you want to come in as a co-pilot? Uh, let's have a look at this. Whoa! Wow, it's ultra fast. So it's fast. Jeez, you lose your brains in this uh, really quickly. Wow, oh, it's like a rocket. That's good. fast. Yeah. I don't feel as stable in this though. But uh <laughs> it's fun, I'll say that much. <laughs> 